Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. This is your daily tropical update video. We're just going to cut right to it. We got some interesting stuff happening about the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific basins. You can see we now have Gonzalo in the Atlantic. This was Tropical Depression 7 yesterday. It has become Tropical Storm Gonzalo as of this morning. This is our seventh named storm of the hurricane season in the Atlantic. Now, it is not even August yet, and we are at our seventh named storm. This is the fastest pace on record uh, for any Atlantic hurricane season that, um, on our record right now. So normally we don't see the G named storm until maybe late August, maybe even into September. So that just tells you how how busy this season truly has been. Now, we have not had a really big tropical cyclone yet. We have not had a hurricane in the Atlantic um, so far, they've all been tropical storms. However, it does look like that Gonzalo is going to become the season's first hurricane here pretty soon. And so we're gonna we're just gonna dive right into it. We're gonna start with Gonzalo. This is the latest advisory just came out um, uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago. The maximum sustained winds are 50 miles an hour, so it has been increasing. Minimum central pressure is down to 1,000 millibars. It is moving west-northwest at 14 miles an hour. You can see by the center here on the National Hurricane Center page, it is located in the open waters. Here is its forecast track. As of right now, it is expected to continue to uh, pass um, south of the United States. Um, it could potentially be a threat to the northern part of the northern Venezuela coast um, in South America. And then it will be headed towards the Caribbean um, in between South America and uh, Hispan Hispaniola. Um, and that's the current forecast track. And you can see those H's on there means that they are now forecasting hurricane strength. Let's look at the National Hurricane Center's forecast intensity, which actually could still be on the conservative side. So the last, the latest video that, or the video I uploaded yesterday, it, they weren't even forecasting hurricane intensity, but that has significantly changed based on this rate of intensification and the fact that it is going to continue to be moving over very warm waters. And let's actually start, let's go ahead and take a look at what this uh, cyclone looks like. So, this is, this is our, uh, oops, sorry. This is our tropical cyclone, uh, Gonzalo. And you can see that there's a very robust convection that uh, developed last night, and it's wrapping around the center uh, quite nicely, actually. There's a, maybe just a little bit, um, no, no, not even. There was a little bit of dry air right in here uh, that was trying to wrap in on the west side, but that's being overcome. And we got this really nice convection starting to uh, really wrap around the center so uh, no surprise that this thing is intensifying I would definitely not be surprised to see Gonzalo continue to climb in intensity throughout today and let's see if we can get the visible satellite I don't see any visible satellite imagery but actually right here in the middle there uh, and it, it looks better on the satellite there's a hint of an eye starting to develop already so that Really, that really is an indication that this thing is really taking off and actually could become a hurricane quite soon. It's a it's a pretty small storm. It doesn't look too small on the uh, satellite here, but it is a pretty small and compact system. And so, um, with these kind of systems, they tend to ignore dry air and shear. So that could really open the window for uh, quite a bit of intensification over the next uh, few to several days with Gonzalo. Uh, let's look at the intensity guidance. Uh, so you can see uh, quite a few models definitely uh, depicting it getting above hurricane strength. Um, even category two, um, that we actually had a few models yesterday, more of the rapid intensification models, trying to get it up to category three and even four strength. Uh, so they're still pretty split on what it's going to do. Some of our like uh, global models, like the GFS, the Euro, and whatnot. Is doesn't is not really a big fan of the system. It uh, it's kind of depicting the system kind of getting overran by by a uh, cooler, drier air um, as it uh, continue uh, over the next several days, and uh, has it dissipating actually um, 
like probably within five days or so. But like I said, uh, what often happens with these compact systems like Gonzalo is, is that it will it will kind of ignore dry air and shear, and it can it can really uh, just kind of take off in intensity. And a very historic example of that was Hurricane Michael in 2018. Uh, so we're going to definitely keep a close eye on it. Right now it's looking very impressive on the radar, uh, sorry, the satellite, and uh, could uh, certainly become our first hurricane of the season here before long. Uh, let's look at where it is expected to head. So you can see over the next uh, several days it will be uh, headed towards the Caribbean. Uh, Windward Islands could be... Uh, could be threatened, like I said, and maybe the northern coast of Venezuela, uh, but um, it is no threat to the United States, at least for the next several days. Um, here's uh, some of the GFS ensembles trying to actually uh, turn it towards Florida, but that is many days away. That's almost 200 hours away, so nothing, nothing to worry about right now, absolutely. Um, but you can see how it's uh, depicting it remaining a very weak system, uh, and so, because uh, above a thousand millibars that's really not that strong of a system there but um, <clears throat> yeah it, it is definitely something to keep an eye on uh, it you know I would just monitor its progress over the next several days don't don't get too worked up over it over these spaghetti plots they're gonna change all the time so uh, that's what I have for Gonzalo now let's move on to Douglas I'll let that load Going to Douglas, this has become the first hurricane um, between both basins uh, for this year. It is officially now a Category 1 hurricane. Uh, maximum sustained winds are 75 miles an hour. The central pressure has dropped to 993 millibars. It's moving to the west at 15 miles per hour. So um, it has resumed intensification. There was a halt in, uh, in strengthening yesterday due to some dry air on the east side of the system. This is where Douglas is headed. Um, so this will actually, this is actually a concern to Hawaii. Um, <clears throat> potentially in the next um, several days from now, you can see it might move over the islands. Um, so yeah, if you live in Hawaii, you should definitely be um, definitely being paying attention to this system. So it uh, uh, could be headed your way. We'll uh, we'll see for sure. The latest intensity forecast it shows it possibly getting near major hurricane strength um, here in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, definitely, definitely uh, not out of the question. It's uh, looking uh, so. Here, this is what Douglas actually looks like now. It's very impressive. Look at that big burst of convection, very intense convection wrapping around the center. I would not be surprised to see this thing rapidly intensify um, today and possibly into tomorrow. So. Would not be surprised to see this get into major hurricane strength, uh, which would be category three or higher. We definitely would not be surprised. Um, National Hurricane Center's uh, capping off the intensity at upper uh, category two strength um, in their intensity forecast, then weakening beyond that. But uh, we're going to definitely monitor, keep a close eye on it. But you can see the convection is just very strong. Look at that. Um, so the dry air uh, was kind of working its way in. It's uh, all kind of scoured out now. Um, so this big this big burst of convection means that Douglas is probably really going to take off in intensity. So that's all I got for your uh, tropical update. Um, stay tuned to the latest. We're going to have uh, daily videos out for you. Thank you for watching.